Hey, my collective lovies. Welcome back to another video, my loves. I hope you guys are feeling well. This video is going to resonate with all signs, all placements. This is Empress to me, your spiritual guide. I'm just here to drop some love and light on your path. Shine a little bit of light in the time of darkness and let you know what spirit wants you to know or see. Just delivering your messages. So thank you guys for joining me and clicking on to your video. Let's go ahead and dive in, y'all. See what messages Spirit want to tell you today. Overall energy that I'm feeling is I feel like God is protecting you from something. I feel like this is more than just a blessing in disguise, like this separation, this painful transition or whatever this is. I feel like God saw what you didn't see. It's something here that was happening behind the scenes, behind your back. You weren't aware of it. And you're wondering why this tower came down. And that's why. Because there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you didn't know about. All right. So this was definitely divine protection. Let's go ahead and see what this energy is about and why am I feeling this. Let's see what's going on with you at this time. What energy is surrounding my collective? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Thank you for blocking and binding all negative energy, entity, witchcraft, and wickedness. Giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Thank you for healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. And victory. Every situation and abundance and overflow. Amen. Let's see. All right, so we got four cards that shot out. So it's something that you were definitely open to receive, all right? But you didn't know that this, this would have made you feel rejected. It would have made you feel great loss and kind of broken. So whatever this is, I feel like there was definitely confusion, but you were looking at this person or situation through rose-colored glasses. So I feel like you were very receptive to this energy because of how deceptive it was. I feel like you are... Trying to focus on your self-worth. Um, I feel like a lot of you are working on your intuition and your discernment. So you'll be able to see through this energy. But I feel like it's time for you to set higher expectations. And definitely stand your ground. Love yourself and understand that you are the gift for somebody. But I feel like whatever this was, I feel like you definitely were being protected from this. Show me clearly what this energy is surrounding the collective. Yeah, a renewal. But somebody has secrets. It's something here. Somebody has ulterior motives, possibly. Yeah, you're being told to trust in divine timing. Um, somebody definitely wanted you to be open to receive them. I feel like this is something that you really wanted. Something that you were expecting to go well, but it didn't. It's not. It's because you're being open to rejection, loss, and feeling fragmented. Some of y'all have been missing this person, but this person does not have good intentions. This person is definitely hiding something from you. And I feel like spirit sees this person in their dark energy. So I feel like you definitely are being protected from this. You literally are dodging a bullet. I don't feel anything good about this person. Um, and it's time for you to make a decision to leave this behind. Yeah, and nurture yourself. Have compassion for yourself. Take better care of yourself. Spirit wants you to seek your purpose. All right, and let's see what else. You're clinging to your comfort zone right now for a lot of you, and it's a need for you to let go and do more. Set, set higher boundaries. Put your standards in place and love on yourself. Set positive intentions and be specific about what you want so that it comes to you. It's time for you to be closed off and guarded to this person. All right. Or this situation, there's resistance here because you're going through a spiritual awakening. There's a need for you to remember that and be open to the gifts that spirit is giving you as opposed to this person that wants you to be open to receive them is definitely a time for self care. So take some time out for yourself and work on that. Um, so you can get rid of these fears and feeling limited. Like you have to lower your standards. You do not. Okay. Um, and then spirit overall wants you to just trust in divine timing and be grateful, move in a spirit of gratitude, take some time out, reflect on your situation, you know, just think about the present and how far you've come, take some time to yourself and trust in divine timing. All right, so let's see why that is here, my collective family. Let's see what's going on here. Let's tap in real quick to see what spirit wants to tell you about this situation. And then we'll clarify, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, the message that is here for my collective. What do you want the collective to know about this energy spirit? Let's see. For the collective. Okay. 
All right. It's a time for you to use your intuition. Somebody could be experiencing some heartache and loss, or I feel like spirit was protecting you from this. All right. Use your intuition to avoid this type of energy. Third eye chakra is open and I feel like you're getting signs, but are you paying attention to the signs? Somebody may need to pay attention to the signs that you're getting and take these rose colored glasses off because this person is getting away with murder. Okay. Hiding everything. Okay. So we have things happening very fast. This could be fast communication, making a fast choice, a fact, taking action quickly, making sure that you move forward in a situation or something here is happening very fast. Um, you're suffering in silence here. Maybe the separation between this person happened fast. I feel like maybe the breakup or whatever happened to make you withdraw from this energy because they want to come back. So that means that they are outside of your realm. That means you got rid of them or you pushed them away. I feel like somebody was being very um, defensive because this person, I feel like, had you feeling rejected at one time or you're open to this person and if you receive them back, you'll feel rejected because this person has secrets. Um, you're suffering in silence, I feel like, because you know you're clinging on to this comfort zone, something that doesn't serve you, that's not really good for you. Spirit said it's time for you to use your intuition and take time and be patient and plan for your future. This patience and planning card is an indicator that you need to focus on the future. Plan for the future, meaning manifest what you want instead of spend so much time on this person here and now trying to make them come towards you or whatever this is but it's something here that you're not seeing right and this person is offering you something so let's see what message is here for the collective show me what the collective needs to know about this energy show me open to receive hold on real quick let me shuffle these For the collective spirit, show me why it's open to receive here. Nine of Pentacles energy. So this could be somebody single and abundant, self-sufficient, sufficient. sufficient. <laughs> That'd be more excellent, okay? Somebody self-sufficient, single and abundant, open to receive. I feel like somebody is tired of being single, so they're open. They have their um, intention set to have somebody new. But I feel like this person is somebody trying to come back in your good graces um, and they see that you're single and abundant. So they could be looking at you and all the, for all the wrong reasons. For some of you, this could be an earth sign that I'm talking to or you have an earth sign wanting to come towards you. Renewal and spark here. Somebody has a queen of wands energy. This could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that wants to maybe renew a commitment with you. Somebody could be about to send you a message or talk to you about getting back together, reuniting. This is somebody that you have been talking to on social media or some type of way. This could even be text messages, but I feel like this person is sending you messages, trying to get back with you. And I feel like you're just feeling like it's a missed opportunity. Your energy is like that for a reason because you're being protected from this person and their intention. Yeah, you're leaving this person out in the cold. For some of you, you know this person needs a handout. They don't really have anything. And you're trying to steer clear of this type of energy. Doesn't have to be a fire sign, but I feel like it is a fire sign or earth sign. We also have water. Show me rejection, lost, fragmented. Yeah, somebody broke your heart before. Or they made you feel heartbreak, heartbroken. Or either spirit is protecting you from being heartbroken again by this person. Show me limitations and fears. Yes, yeah, somebody here is standing their ground in this Queen of Swords energy because you know your worth. Somebody's not taking this crap from this person anymore. It's like you don't want to be heartbroken. You're not going to go back toward them. Show me three of swords and rejection. Yeah, the star. So somebody is healing, feeling rejuvenated. You're doing a lot better now and your income is changing. You're self-sufficient. You feel a lot better without this person around. So you're not really trying to go back toward them. I feel like somebody was blocking your intuition, blocking your abundance here. Show me confusion. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is looking right at this confusion and standing their ground like I'm not dealing with it. Something is very stagnant right now with the hangman. 
or you don't want to be stagnant. Somebody was confused as to why everything was at such a standstill. And it was because this person has ill intent. Not only that, they betrayed you. Okay. So this is not something that you want. This is why spirit is protecting you. And that it's hard to balance when this person is around. They could have juggled you. All right. Seeking emotional pleasure somewhere else. Or somebody just making you very emotionally overwhelmed and unstable. Right. With their choices, with their actions, with their energy. Shadow side. But I'm hearing that's how they like you. So they can get away with stuff. So they can, you know, so so you won't see what they're doing. Dark night of the soul. So you have a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be going through the dark night of the soul. This could be you, one of my collective loves that's watching. i um, trying to work on the shadow work and heal because of this heartbreak that this person caused you. You're leaving this person out in the cold. I feel like you feel the energy that you should. All right. Your discernment is very strong right now because spirit is sending you signs that it's best to leave this person where they are. Definitely walking away. The Queen of Swords is standing their ground, walking away. This doesn't have to be a female. You guys know I'm an intuitive reader. This is just energy, okay? We got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is a battle, all right, y'all? Going word for word, telling each other like it is. You're not taking any crap from each other. Somebody is very cold here. I feel like this person with the secrets is very cold. And they could be sending you messages, okay? Trying to get you to come back toward them or anything like that. But this King of Swords energy, this person is um, used to being a ruler, used to running things. This person is very dominant. So they feel like they're in control, whether you like it or not. And I feel like this is another reason why you're moving away from this energy, Eight of Cups. You could care about this person a lot, but you don't care. You're not dealing with it, period. Self-care. Yeah, you're being strong. A lot of you are realizing you're a lot stronger than you thought. And plus, your faith is strong, I'm hearing. And so this is what's gearing you to move forward. Show me what's on this King of Swords mind. We see the Queen of Swords up here is thinking about walking away, not taking no crap, done with the drama. You betrayed me. I'm done. Okay. I'll hear you out, but I don't, I'm not, you I'm not easily moved. So we got the King of Swords here. What's this King of Swords talking about with these secrets? Talking to other people, could be gossiping about the situation, waiting on a positive turnout. This King of Swords is trying to get advice to find out how to bring you back. Look at that magician energy trying to manifest you back and waiting, waiting and hoping for another opportunity. Look, a lot of mental conflict here and they causing a lot of problems arguing with you and fussing with you unnecessarily. So you're not with that. Divine timing. Take it how it resonates. The King of Swords could also represent a dominant earth air sign or just somebody in this dominant cold energy. Trust in divine timing. As you close this cycle, a new one will begin and you will be happy. Spirit is saying, trust me on this. Let this go. The world. This situation is over. It's not, it's no need to re reconcile or try. The tower is just going to fall down. It's not going to work. Okay. Um, underneath the bottom of the deck, this is your angels bringing you restoration and balance in your life. Also telling you that this situation doesn't have what it takes to create a harmonious, um, union. All right. So whatever this is, it could be work, love or life. Okay. Yeah. You're being called to use your intuition at this time. This could very well be for one of my Pisces, but take it as it resonates guys. This is a very general reading. Okay. So now let's get some advice for you from spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides, what is the advice here for my collective? All right, that's it, collective. Under the bottom of the deck, despite frustration, you are on your way to making all your dreams come true. This is something that spirit wants you to know. Okay. You are exactly where you need to be. Keep moving forward. You manifested this. You're on a journey of discovering your life's purpose. And this person is not meant to follow you. All this negativity and toxicity. It says you will be a great success, but you will have to go through to get there. There's lessons to be learned. 
It says, remember, many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real. So now don't let anybody intimidate you. It says you're shedding energies that no longer serve you or no longer match your frequency. And that's a beautiful thing. And you, the divine, the universe is helping you do this. And this is happening very fast for you. Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. So this is your message, Collective. I hope this added a blessing to your life and gave you a lot of clarity in your situation. It is a preventative read. So this is made to help you on your path or in this situation, wherever it may be. Okay, when it finds you, that's when you can apply it to your life. If you want a personal reading, you can book it at closer than number two, mydestiny.com. I thank you so much for your love and support and for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I will talk to you later. Bye, loveys.